ng Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw ng ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming pagawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Blessed morning, dear students. Welcome to another session of Valenzuela Live Mathematics 7. We are now in week 4 of quarter 4. Have you seen your election bill for this month? Did you notice the graphs? being shown in your electric bill? Can you identify what kind of graph? Today's lesson, we are going to study about the presentation of organized data using graphs. At the end of this session, you are expected to use the appropriate graphs to represent organized data, particularly pie chart and bar graph. For our first activity, let us see what you already know about graphs. Are you familiar with anagram? Anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. Scramble and use letters of the given word to form another word will best describe the given picture. Are you ready? Let's begin. You have five seconds to key in your answer. Number one. Five seconds. Go. Correct answer is Line graph. Number two. Five seconds. Go. Correct answer is my chart. Number three. Seconds, go. Correct answer is OJ. Number four. Five seconds, go. can also be presented through graphs, which can give us a clear picture of the characteristics of data given in just a glance. The different types of graphs which will be discussed this quarter are pie chart, bar graph, line graph, histogram, and ogive. Today, we will be focusing more on pie chart or circle graph and bar graph. Pie chart 
chart or circle graph? A circular graph that uses slices or sectors to represent data that is being compared to a whole. The whole circle represents 100% of the data, and each slice or sector is the proportion of the category it represents. It shows how a part of something relates to the whole. It is important to define what the whole represents. Pie chart or circle graph has different parts. First, the title. It gives a short description of what the graph is all about. Next is the legend or the key. The part of the graph which tells about the fractional part or what the sector of the circle stands for. Third one is the data, most important part of the chart. The whole pie chart represents 100% of the data. Each slice represents the percentage of the whole. Last one is the source. This tells us where the data was gathered. In the given pie chart, if the important information are already in the graph, no need to write the legend. For example, in Figure 1, graph of the enrolled students in Maunlad National High School. But if some information are not on the graph, we have to add the legend. Just like in Figure 2, the key or the legend will tell us what each sector of the circle represents. How to construct a pie chart? Number one, express each category as a percentage of the total. To do this, simply divide the frequency of each category by the total frequency, then times 100%. For grade 7, the frequency is 1,050 divided by 3,000 which is the total frequency times 100 percent we have 35 percent for grade 8 divide 750 by 3000 then times 100 percent we have 25 percent for grade 9 do the same as the grade 8 and for grade 10 divide 450 by 3,000 times 100%, we will obtain 15% for a total of 100%. For the angle degree, multiply the percent of each category by 360 degrees. This will give you the measure of their corresponding angles in the circle. For grade 7, multiply 35% or 0 0.35 by 360 degrees to obtain 126. For grade 8, multiply 25% or 0 0.25 by 360 degrees. The result is 90 degrees. Do the same with grade 9. And for grade 10, multiply 15% or 0 0.15 by 360 degrees to get 54 degrees. And the last step, construct the pie chart and the corresponding sector or slice using a protractor. Label each sector. Bar graph. Bar graph is a graph that uses horizontal or vertical parallel bars, which represents counts for several categories. 
one bar is used for each category and the length of the bar representing the count for that one category. A bar graph and the rest of the graphs we are going to study has the following parts. Title, the data, labels, fields, access, categories, and the source, which is actually the frequency table in which we base our data. Let us see if you can identify parts of the graph which will be highlighted. Choose your answer from the given option. The 5 seconds the key in your answer. Number 1. Correct answer is labels. Number 2. If your answer is title, then you are correct. Number three. Correct answer is access. We have two axes, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Number four. Correct answer is scale. Take note, they must have equal interval. Next, number five. Correct answer is data. The most important part of the graph. Number six. If your answer is categories, then you are correct. Using the given graph, let us see if you can answer the following question. Number one. How many pets are considered in the graph? You are correct. Number two. How many people whose favorite pet is cat? The correct answer is well. Number three. How many people were interviewed about their favorite pet? Correct answer is 35. Simply add the frequency of each category. 4, 10, 12, 6, and 3. How to construct a bar graph? We can use the following steps. Number one, find the range in values. Number two, determine a scale. Take note that scale must be of equal interval. You also have to indicate the zero point. Number three, label the graph. What data is in the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis? Number four, draw the bars. Length of the bars should be proportional to the quantities they represent. The width of the bars must be equal. Spacing between the bars must also be equal. Number five, give the graph a title. Tell something about the graph. Let us have some practice exercises. Several students were interviewed about their favorite sports. Construct a bar graph given the following data.
considering the following table of values. Draw the bar graph. First, draw the vertical axis with its heel. And the horizontal axis. The categories. And the labels. Then, draw the bar graph. Finally, give the title of your graph. Bar graph can also be presented in horizontal form. Are you now ready for our last activity? Choose the letter of the graph that is being described or that is appropriate to use for the given situation. Write A for bar graph and B for circle graph. You have 5 seconds to key in your answer in the comment box below. Number 1. Graph that is best used to show the relationship of a specific data to the whole. There A, bar graph, circle graph. 5 seconds, go. Correct answer is circle graph. Number two, the graph that uses vertical or horizontal rectangles with equal spaces between the rectangles. There are A, bar graph, B, circle graph. Five seconds, go. The correct answer is letter A, bar graph. Number three, the best type of graph to show the amount of garbage and the amount of recycled material in kilograms produced by five public schools. There are A, bar graph, B, circle graph. Five seconds, go. Correct answer is bar graph. Number four. The best type of graph to show the distribution of the amount of time allocated in each activity done in one day. There are A, bar graph, B, circle graph. Five seconds, go. The correct answer is circle graph. Number five. The best type of graph to show the family's monthly income and expenses. There are A, bar graph, B, circle graph. Five seconds, go. Correct answer is circle graph. To sum up the important points of our lesson today, use of graphs to represent and analyze data. Pie chart or circle graph represents data using sector of a circle. Best use showing relationship of a specific data to a whole. A circle divided into sector proportional to the frequency shows how a part of something relates to the whole. Important to define what the whole represents. Bar graph represents the data using vertical or horizontal rectangular bars. Makes it easier to visualize the comparison of the occurrence of one data from another. 
parts of the circle graph are the title, data, legend or key, and the source. The parts of the bar graph are the title, access, axis label, field, categories, data, and the source. Let us now proceed with the question and answer portion regarding our lesson today. Have any question? Type them in the comment section below, and our teacher moderator will take note of them. For our first question, what data is best displayed on a circle graph? Sometimes categorical data or qualitative data are presented in a circle graph. Individual pieces of data are presented as sections of the circle or what we call sectors representing a percentage of the total which have to be proportional to the quantity represented. Circle graphs are often used to show how a whole set of data is broken down into several components or parts. The second question in what kind of data is bar graph best used? Data has four levels of measurement, namely nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Bar graph is best used for data or variables which are nominal or categorical, examples of which are gender, male or female, color of the hair, favorite pets or sports, and many others. Bar graph or circle graph may also be used to display discrete data. Remember discrete data? They are the data that can be counted. If you have any other questions in mind, feel free to ask your subject teacher in your follow-up this For our homework, answer the following activity. There A, use the bar graph on the right to answer each question. For one, how many students are nominated in the election of class president? Number two, who has the most number of votes? Number three, who among the nominees did not get a vote? Number four, how many votes did the elected class president garner? Number five, if the second highest number of votes will be the vice president, who is he or she? Letter B, analyze the table below and by estimation, label each sector of the pie chart according to the given data. Before we end, I would like to share this quote of Sir Jim Doyle. Our success or failure won't be measured in charts or graphs or budget tape, but in the fulfillment of their dream. And that ends our discussion for today. This is Mom Michelle Ortiz of General Tiburcio de Leon National High School. Thank you and God bless everyone. Keep